Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Patch Tuesday security update rolling out for Windows 11 24H2. And this is part of the Windows 10, Windows 11 updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of the month. And for Windows 11 24H2 this month, we get KB5066842. Now, first of all, the Patch Tuesday updates mainly focus on security fixes and addressing security holes in the OS. So for Windows 11 version 24H2 for this month, we get 37 vulnerabilities that have been fixed and 35 important are also listed and we get two critical. And then we also get two critical listed as Windows net logon elevation of privilege and a remote code execution vulnerability. So critical is your highest rated vulnerability. So nonetheless, an important security fix and fixes rolling out for 24H2 this month. Now, Microsoft has also rolled out a change and a fix with this update for this month. And the first is for system restore. So if we head to our system page about system protection, apparently Microsoft says that after installing this update, Windows will retain system restore points for up to 60 days, which is currently not the case. And it also mentions the 60-day limit will also apply to future versions of Windows 11 version 24H2. So that's a system restore change. And then they've also rolled out a fix where the update addresses an issue that prevents users from signing in with self-signed certificates when using Windows Hello for business with the key trust model. And then over and above that change and that fix, if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, this release updates the following AI components on Copilot Plus PCs, image search, content extraction, and semantic analysis. Now, if we just quickly head back into our Windows update, update history, this security update will also include the improvements that were part of this update, KB5058499, which included 25 new features. So if you didn't install this update, you'll get those now rolling out in this update, most of which are on a controlled rollout. So if you don't see them at the get-go, then you might get them over the next couple of weeks. And I've posted two videos on this update because it was quite a major update and I'll leave that linked down below, both of those linked down below and in the end screen. But a quick recap for the purpose of this video, just to focus on some, on some features, not all. Now, if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, this update includes improvements for click to do. If we head back into our settings, personalization, text input. If you don't have a keyboard with a Copilot key, you can now use Win and C to launch Copilot. So that's without a Copilot key on your keyboard, you can use Win and C. So using your Copilot key, or if you don't have a key, Win and C, Windows key and C, you can choose a custom app if you have one that supports, or you can change that to search Win and, using Win and C, that'll open up your search instead of Copilot. So there are a couple of options, which I think is a nice move. And if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, it adds push to talk to Copilot, which is a new feature. And you can now resume working on OneDrive files from your phone. And where you can enable this feature, if you have OneDrive installed on your phone, is if we head to Apps, Resume. Now, I don't have OneDrive on my phone, so I'm not using this feature. So you can turn it on or turn it off in this location. And it is on by default, and obviously you can turn off control which apps can resume if you have more than one. So that's the new resume now that's made available with this update. It also includes HDR improvements. So for this, if we head to System, Display, HDR, one of which is just a bit of a UI change. Check the video out for more info. This used to say use HDR, now it's been changed to HDR games, apps, and more. 
And it also enhances digital accessibility with AI-powered image descriptions in Narrator. Once again, only on Copilot Plus PCs. It also improves Windows Search, once again, on Copilot Plus PCs. Microsoft's spending a lot of their focus on those Copilot Plus PCs, like what I hated. And if we head back to Settings, System, heading back to the About page once again, it includes the new Frequently Asked Questions FAQs in the Settings About page. Just to mention the next, Microsoft is also moving more mouse settings from Control Panel into Settings. Check the video out for more info. And one I'm happy to see is you can now find voice access under Accessibility in Quick Settings. So if we head to our little Quick Settings, Accessibility, you will see now voice access has been added to that and they are broken up into different categories like vision, hearing, motor and mobility, which I think is a nice touch. And it also includes a new voice typing profanity filter, basically a swearing filter. It also includes Windows share improvements, one of which is that when you drag a local file from File Explorer to your desktop, a tray will appear at the top of your screen. Now, I'm still not seeing that feature, so that's obviously been rolled out quite slowly by Microsoft. And over and above that, that's just some of the features, guys. There were 25 in total. We also get numerous bug fixes and plenty more, as mentioned. Go check the videos out. Both of them will be linked down below in the end screen if you'd like some more information. And because the update is mandatory, just to check the About Windows menu, just to see the bold upgrade by heading to Winver. And for Windows 11 24H2, after the update has been applied, OS Bold is sitting on 26100.4349. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.